basically this is we will see the grid form grid connected wind form layout and then grid connected solar form layout and then we will perform the dynamic modeling of wind form in PSSC and then dynamic modeling of solar form in PSSC and then user defined I mean the generic as well as the user defined user defined renewable model available in PSSC we will discuss and then we will perform the simulation in that. So in the wind form layout already we have discussed this uh, wind form layout in power flow section like the modeling of wind form in, in under steady state. So from the diagram we can see that there are uh, different collectors groups like in line one, line two, line three and line four. So in line one there are eight uh, wind turbine and then line two there are eight wind turbine each have a size of 1.5 megawatt and then eight number of turbine in third line and then nine number of turbine in fourth line and that which all are basically installed at a low voltage like 0 0.6 kV then direct, uh, directly step up to towards 20 kV bus bar that is medium voltage then from the medium voltage through a power transformer it step up to 132 kV bus bar and moreover in order to maintain the power factor at 132 kV we have applied the re basically reactive power compensation like switch and compensation also. So this is a wind form layout. Here we have discussed that in order to model the wind form in PSSC, we can follow this method. Like we can uh, implicitly implicitly mo model these things like from one collector group as a one generator, another collector group as another generator, and we multiply n turbine with uh, I mean the m base of the turbine with multi n like eight multiplied by like if it is one megawatt one mv turbine, so it will be eight mv turbine the size of the complete one generator. Similarly mean we can uh, calculate the transformer reactances also and then we can step up towards uh, towards the medium voltage and then we can step up to towards the grid uh, via medium to high voltage transformer. OK, so here you can see that there are uh, basically generator model uh, wind turbine model, but in dynamic form we will see there are a couple of uh, I mean control available that we need to model uh, for a dynamic stability studies. So like same in the solar form layout here you can see that there are PV strings. In in wind there was a collector groups and then here is the PV strings and then it is con uh, connected to the inverter then right after the inverter it step up to the AC bus. And similarly there are a number of uh, collect like in wind there are a, number of collector groups and here in PV solar form is uh, there are number of PV strings and then each strings uh, number of strings are connected in series and and then converted into AC through a inverter and right after the transformer you can see that the system uh, the plant is connected to the grid and here at, after the transformer at a POI you can see that the grid analyzer is available so plant controller is also a uh, mean uh, function in in the solar as well as in the wind at POI where it take data and my measures the informations and then apply the uh, control in the in in this model. So uh, now the important thing is that in the mod dynamic modeling of wind and solar. So we will discuss these type of detail uh, control I mean what type of control involved with uh, with the solar and wind form dynamically. So here, so in the dynamic modeling of wind form, so we uh, can see that the there are four types of wind turbines are available. So the first one is the direct connected conventional induction generation generator and the next type two machine is the wind wound rotor induction generator with variable rotor resistance and then type three is a doubly fed induction generator and type four is a full size converter unit. So one note, uh, note regarding the, all these type of uh, type of wind machine is that these generic mod wind model are designed to be used in the studies related to integration of wind turbine in electrical power system. So these are the generic basically modeling. So however, other than generic by making use of these generic model, we can define our user defined model also. So that we will do in this uh, lecture. So next note is that the representation of implicit transformer is not allowed for any of these four types of wind generators. So mean you can see that 
you cannot um, uh, show the transform implicit so mean you need to basically model as explicit behavior like from the lv to then mv and hp so explicit behavior in the modeling so i have discussed i think the modeling of a generator in explicit for a implicit you can directly model generator at the basically hv bus but but in in implicit you can you cannot model uh, in implicit you can model from lv then the gsu transformer then the medium voltage and then step up to the high high voltage okay the in the type 1 the dynamic setup so the direct connected conventional induction generator here you can see that the wind and then there is a fan and then pitch angle involved the control and then torque aerodynamic torque and then the gearbox to control the wind speed and then after that the induction generator is available so here for induction generator you can see that the 1800 rpm 60 hertz at four pole uh, so after that this generator is directly converted to a, a poi through a grid and also that via step up transformer so here you can see that from uh, 0.6 kv to medium kv then we can step up to towards the grid also so here is a power factor correction capacitance is also applied at this uh, this because induction generator mean cannot supply reactive power to the basically because it's not it's and there is no excitation involved in the induction generator generator modeling therefore the power factor correction capacitance is also applied at each phase and then uh, right after there is a step up transformer and then you can connect so here you can see that there is no direct i mean feedback control is involved it means that uh, this is a simple generator converter model like this one and then wind turbine model and then the pseudo governor model available to control the basically uh, megawatt of this this wind type 1 machine and similarly in type 2 wind machine that is wound rotor induction generator with variable so only one one control involved in this mean here you can see that this is a variable rotor resistance control where you can control the basically the machine uh, you can say that the it it is in excitation or but it still is it's an induction generator I mean there will be no excitation involved it, it is a little bit control involved where you can see that the control of speed and voltage is also i mean you can control the basically ro rotor winding terminals through this variable rotor resistance control so now here one uh, one another uh, mean control involved like dynamic that is electrical control mode in previous you can see there was generator wind turbine and pseudo governor here there is a generator converter and then electrical control involved for this this area and similarly in type 3 this is a basically wind turbine and then it's a doubly fed induction generator same induction generator but it's if it involves the fee feedback from the uh, out uh, at poi then it's from using the field converter let's go back to the stator stator and it come on so here you can see the generator converter model electrical control model and then mechanical control and pitch control so this this converter control involved in this electrical control model so this uh, this now you can see that doubly fed induction generator is a um, mean efficiency efficiency wise is a good good uh, mean uh, type of machine and advanced uh, control involved and also converter involved so you can see that the reactive power is also not an issue so you can maintain the voltage at poi easily but the one more thing is that in all these three type of wind generation the thing is that all these generators are coupled to the grid whenever fault occur in a grid it will affect on the um, performance and working operation of our wind generator also but the now next uh, uh, recently the double uh, sorry the it, it's a type type 4 machine and then it's a not an induction generator it's written by mistake so it's a permanent magnet synchronous generator involved that pmsg and it's very low speed generator and then after you can see machine side converter and then line side D, a power converter is uh, involved and which is decoupled so here you can see that uh, you take an ac and then convert to dc and 
and then where you can DC to variable frequency and possible variable magnitude. So you can have a, a flexible control available. I mean, you can control the voltage, you can control the frequency, and as well as you can control the reactive power of the system uh, of the generator. So only these there are two uh, uh, dynamic model involved for like power converter and ge generator mod module and then electrical control module like this for this one. Only for one generator and one for the converter. So we know only two uh, two dynamic model involved. If we uh, know the data of these um, uh, models, we can perform the simple dynamic stability for this generic machine. So I mean all these model that we have discussed for wind is all these are the generic. But today is we are discussing about the uh, basically the inverter based and user defined modeling. I mean where we can use the make use of these generic model and we can control the uh, I mean the system behavior because this uh, behavior is available in auxiliary control that is available where we can set different flags in the icons in, in dynamics in F5. So we will see. And next is the dynamic modeling of PV form in PSSC. So we know that the PV generic uh, like the uh, this is basically based on the generic wind model comprises this uh, look at from the irad module here you can say you take a irradiance data and then you convert this irradiance data into uh, panels megawatt and like in kilowatt or then PDC like after that there is a converter like generator or as well as the electrical module that will convert to I mean power and elect like voltage and current towards the at PY. So here you can see that the first module is the power converter and generator module and then P electrical control module and then panel. That is a linearized model of panel output curve. I mean it basically from the irradiance. So here is a linear. So I mean in order to add a intermittency issue in the in at the solar level. So you can change the irradiance behavior in this irad module and then you can see the uh, after that based on this irradiance and the and the efficiency of converter panels so it's convert into different pv characteristic like iv characteristic and then after that you can get the power and then the rest of the system so we know only four model that we need to more in uh, need in the dynamic case so that we can perform dynamic stability study okay so other than these generic model like for solar and wind and all these models that are available in PSSE are this like the generic renewable generator model is a, the first one is the distribute energy resource generator or converter model and then this is a user return I mean when we say user return it means that this is a generic model available in the PSSE library and similarly this is a, a renewable energy generator model and this this is one and then the renewable gen generator as well as converter model and all these the remaining are the uh, mean generic ge renewable generator so these two that the renewable energy generator and this so the however these are generic but we can control we can uh, may, i mean uh, change the uh, control of these two models like regc a1 and regc au and we will discuss uh, how to change and similarly in gener gen generic renewable electrical control model in order to Electrical control model, the first one is also user return that we have seen PVE U1 and then remaining two RWC A1, the renewable energy electrical model. And these are the all these models are available in PSSE. So and the generic data is available in the program application guide volume two and the model uh, user guide of PSSE. OK, similarly, the next is the electrical control model for utility scale battery energy storage. I mean when we um, uh, are performing a mod doing a modeling of a uh, battery uh, in this PSSE based on this renewable then we use this model and similarly the rotor resistance control model of type 2 wind generator and then type 3 and type 4 so the, all these are the generic and generic renewable drivetrain because these are involved in the uh, basically wind as a wind 2 mass turbine model and similarly in in case of solar that is a panel module that so the same behavior same working be uh, mean as panel do in solar and similarly the torque the two mass turbine model do in the wind case and the next is the generic renewable pitch control model here you can see that the irad module and the pitch control module in order to control the pitch as well as the irradiance uh, so we we will use these these two type of models 
okay next generic renewable aerodynamic models that that the, the pseudo governor models are available in this wind turbine however we can use this the the second model as a uh, user defined control so we can make use of this model and we can add control to this and similarly the generic renewable torque control model this is wttqa1 and the last one is the pl power plant controller model here in 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 the solar farm layout we have seen that there is a plant controller available that maintain the voltage and power factor and the reactive power at py through these controller repca1 and re so we will uh, also there is a auxiliary control uh, model that are used to uh, for a auxiliary signal to provide auxiliary signal so because some in the c best model for battery available in this pssc but that uh, model need auxiliary signal so we can provide that auxiliary signal through these uh, models